And another conference action tonight. Wyoming area beat Hazelden 12-6. Tunkanig knocked off Valley West 7-6. Andy Mahoshi covered this doubleheader and files this highlight report. The Wyoming area Warriors wanted to give new head coach Frank Perra a notch in the win column, but that wouldn't be easy. The Mountaineer passing attack of Scott Shimani to Paul Holloman kept their offense moving. The Warriors countered with runs like this one by Larry Udiski to get them into the end zone. Hard hits like this kept the score close, with the Warriors winning 12-6. Our second game features two teams that should go pretty far this year, the Spartans of Wyoming Valley West and the Tigers of Tunkhannock. Crushing defense was the theme of this one. The Tigers were not to be outdone, stopping the Spartan attack. Passing like this from Joe Blanett to Steve Salas helped the Spartans get points on the board. The Tigers countered with their own aerial attack, Mike Voorhees to Rich Clark. With the score 7-6, three seconds left, Tunkanik in the lead, the Spartans' hopes fell to the ground. Andy Bahalshik, Eyewitness Sports, Nycast. We now turn our attention to games involving teams from... Nanakoke's bread and butter all year has been its passing game. Tonight was no different. McDermott to Zabritsky was the lifeblood of their offensive attack. This one got the ball close to the end zone. Several plays later, pay dirt. The same duo put the Trojans up 6-0, the point after 7-zip Nanakoke. Pittston area has a pretty good passing game too. J.R. Richards to Phil Pisano. However, tonight it wasn't good enough. The final, Nanakoke 35, Pittston area 13. Our second game, Coughlin and Wyoming area, featured tough hitting and hard running. Good old-fashioned football. Matt Walsh was the Crusader offense tonight. This one made it 13-0 Coughlin. Wyoming area seemed listless. The Crusaders were psyched out. The final, 26-8 Coughlin. Our third game tonight features the Valley West Spartans with the unenviable task of controlling the Ismael brothers of Myers. Rocket Ismael scored on two long runs tonight, one on 74 yards and this one for 80 yards. This jaunt made it 20 nothing Myers in the second half. Minutes later, Ragib did it again. The Rocket, 26 nothing Myers. His brother, a speedster in his own right, Kadri iced it with this 10-yard bolt. The final in this one, no match, 34-0, Myers over Valley West. Andy Bahalshik, Eyewitness Sports Nightcast.